the 25th Street, Harlem, New York. That's right. We on these streets every week in every city. Lord willing, wasn't permitting to teach the truth to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What is the truth? The truth is that the Israelites are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans living in the ghettos today. If you black, you Hispanic, or you Native American, this should be music to your ears to hear that the Bible's talking about you. But today, we got to deal with something called gay pride. We got to deal with something called homosexuality. And it's so sick because it destroys the black community. It destroys all of our communities. And we got to live with this walking downtown butt naked and our kids are seeing this every day. We should not have to live with this and this destruction is coming to our community because we did not listen to the Lord. So we're going to get into homosexuality right here today on the street corner. If you're black or Hispanic, come over here, get a flyer, man, ask some questions, man, and deal with the true priest and prophets of the Lord. That's right. So give me Isaiah 3 and 9. We will get into homosexuality and how deep and how dark it makes our communities. Our communities are destroyed for a, a number of reasons, but one of them is how homosexuality runs rampant. Homosexuality is most of the time started from child molestation. And when a man molests a child, he destroys that child mentally. And when that child grows up to have that type of destruction in his mind, he destroys another child. And then that, that, that vicious cycle goes on in perpetuity. And now you got a destroyed community and a destroyed bunch of people. What you got? The book of Isaiah. Chapter 3, verse 9. What? The, the shoe of their countenance does witness against them, uh -huh. and they declare their sin as Sodom. Read it again. Come on, come. They, the shoe of their countenance does witness against them. The shoe of their countenance does witness against them. So when we see these, we're going we to be blood on this corner. When we see these homosexuals, when we see them outside, the shoe of their countenance witness against them. You can tell the wickedness on their spirit when you see a homosexual. You can see, this is gay pride right here. The wickedness is the gay pride. And it's so sick and it's so perverse. Read. And they declare their sin as Sodom. They declare their sin as Sodom. They declare their sin as homosexuality. What kind of wickedness is that? How do you take this sin and you make it something to be proud of? How do you take this homosexuality spirit and you be proud of it? When it's destroying your community. It's destroying your community. And it's so sick, man. Keep going. They hide it not. They don't hide it. They got a parade in Philadelphia. You, you can't even get through the streets of Philly because it's a bunch of butt naked homosexuals throwing around in the middle of the city. Right. Now, how is that supposed to help their cause? They say their cause is the same as civil rights. And that's how they feel about the black man. That's how they feel about that Hispanic man. They feel like gay pride is just as important as civil rights. Meanwhile, they got a whole parade in Center City. What do we got, black man? What do we have? The ghetto? What do we have? Cigarettes? What do we have? A, a block? What do we have from our, from our civil rights and marching? What do we have from our death and our trouble that we've been through? Right. Nothing. Meanwhile, they got gay parades and streets named after them. Right. They get all types of glory for being homosexuals. Why is that? That's because America loves that sin. Right. America loves that wickedness. And we got to get out of that black man. We got to get out of that Hispanic man. And we got to teach our children to never follow that gay pride. Why? Because it's going to destroy us, man. Right. It's going to destroy us. And that's how we learn that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks yeah, of. Right. Right. You don't understand that? The devil that the Bible speaks of because he's a deceiver and he's a liar and he forces us to do a wickedness just to make us feel good. That same lust that we feel good with, that's the lust that's going to destroy us as black Hispanics. Keep going. Kind of what God. <clears throat> Woe unto their soul. For they. Like it. For, now the Lord said, Woe unto their soul. Woe means destruction. Or woe means, what you say, woe make hard design? I like what you said earlier. Destroy or destruction. Woe means destroy that soul. Destroy that spirit. Woe into that spirit. That gay spirit that they have, the Lord said destroy it. The Lord said tear it down. So you can make your, so you can make your city beautiful again. So you can make your house beautiful again. What the hell is gender fluidity? What the hell is that? Look in your pants and you're done. You felt it out. 
but the fluidity means you can change it. You can change your gender. You can you can you can be born a man and you can die a woman. That's America and that's the land of sodomy. The Lord said, Woe to that spirit of Sodom. Go ahead. God of God. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. This is the Holy Bible. The Lord said that that sodomite or that homosexual has rewarded evil unto himself. Don't be like that black man, Hispanic man. Don't reward yourself with that evil because that evil is going to tear us down. That evil is what's going to keep us asleep, black man. That evil is the Christian church. That evil is your Muslim mosque. And that evil is this gay pride parade, man. Don't let it tell you down, black man. Be strong. And don't let America tell you what a man is. We don't even know what a man is today. You can't even be a goddamn man in America. You can't even be a man. Because your woman gonna get you arrested. You can't even be a man in America. But I tell you what, black man, you can come over here, you can get a flyer, you can learn how to get your masculinity back. You can learn how to get your femininity back. Over here, black man, black woman, come learn how to be a true man and woman of the Lord. Come learn how to be a true person of your heritage and your spirit is supposed to be real with you, man. It should be real with you. You should, feel, you should hear this and feel it, man, because it's true. It's the words of the Lord coming right out the Bible. The Lord said, destroy that spirit of wickedness. The Lord said, destroy that spirit of homosexuality. Don't give it a parade. Don't give them a parade. But that's what America do, black man. Don't be America. Don't be like the Americans, man. Get your mind out of this place. What you got? God, oh God. <clears throat> Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with them. Now, we out here on this street corner. We could be at home with our feet up eating sandwiches. We can be at home with our woman, but what are we doing on this corner? We here risking our laws to teach the truth to the blacks and Hispanics. We here risking our laws to give y'all the truth, black man. We here risking our laws to make sure that you good. That's what our life is for, because damn that sandwich, damn that TV show, because you more important, black man. This community is more important than a damn TV show. This community is more important than a goddamn sandwich. So we all have to make sure that we bring this community back to life. That's not what your Christian church is going to do. Your Christian church don't give a damn about you. All they want is your goddamn money. And dancing. They want you to dance all day. They want you to clap all day and sing all day. That's what Christian churches do. We don't want you to sing. We don't want you to dance and we don't want your money. We just want you to learn how to be a true black man and be a true Hispanic man in the spirit of the Lord. What you got? God, oh God, this is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. For this cause, the Lord gave them up unto vile affection. That vile and disgusting affection that they have, it's a, it's, it's a demon. It's a demon. And that demon has plagued them for so long. And I'm going to tell you why. Most of the time, it's because someone has destroyed them in the past. And that person that destroyed that man in the past, he will never, he will never blame him. He says it's himself. He says it's something inside of him. And that's what homosexuality is. They cover that inside themselves and they've been destroyed. So we got to learn how to fix that. We got to learn how to fix that spirit in that man or that woman. It's just a, it's just a demon that you can break, black man. You can break it, Hispanic man. Slug it. That vile affection, that's something that you got to get rid of. Just like any other sin. Just like smoking. Smoking is a sin that you got to get, get, get rid of it. You just stop smoking. If you like having sex with men and women, you just stop having sex with them. It's, it's easy. But that vile affection, that's a demon. Keep going. God, oh God. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Now, this vile affection made us change the natural use of a woman. What is a woman for? A woman is to reproduce. A woman is the opposite of a man. A woman, that's that beautiful place where you go lay your head at. That's that beautiful place where you go put your seeds at. The woman is a beautiful place. But they got us changing the natural use of a woman. Now, what is a woman for for a black man that, or for a gay man? What is a woman for? Yeah, that's, that's what we call... Uh, <laughs> they like, bitch. <laughs> that, that's all the gay man used the woman for. He used the woman to feed her for her to be more like her. 
but in real life, they don't even like women. Right. If, if it was up to gay men, it wouldn't be no woman. Because they hate women. Now, you become divisive in your own community. Homosexuality is destructive. It's destructive. And with that, we change the natural use of a woman and of a man. We get rid of femininity and masculinity and develop something totally new. And now you got three-year-old gay boys. Three-year-old homosexual girls. What the hell are we going to do with that? How you get a three-year-old homosexual? That's America. And that's the destruction that we've come to accept. Read. Go with God. When I days I work hard on the job. Till I come across shot. Cross shot. Still like I'm a criminal. I'm a criminal. Rhyming in coke. It could be your first charge like me. You ain't getting the minimum. You ain't gonna dip, dip, squat, squat. Five mile run. run. Push, pull, sit on. God damn, yeah. get strong. Uh, Looking at my babies. Trying to keep them doing wrong. It's too long for they grow. I can't leave them on their own. Uh, they kill daddy like he had a third day cake. The news covering up the story for what they say. My manhood. Uh -huh.